Hello and welcome to War Course Wrestling Network. You are gathered with us for the Square Circle where we are fighting for being the king of the Square Circle. And tonight we get started on the A block of the Men's Heavyweight Championship. Yes, sir. It is myself, ALW, versus your boy, Sammy Joe. Our wrestlers are on the ticker below. This is block A, video episode one, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we'll do all of block A in this video. And the next one will be block B. This will drop on Monday at some point. Uh, we'll let you know the time, but it will drop on Monday. It's pre-recorded, so if you're watching this, please post your comments below. Pick your match winners as the matches come up. Post any comments if you want. At some point, when we can get this to a more, uh, you know, uh, when it works better, we can hopefully try to do some of this live, maybe, uh, if people want to um, see it live. Let us know who's <laughs> match of the night. Uh, quick breakdown of the tournament. So each of us drafted 16 wrestlers. So each of us have four wrestlers in each and every block. And this is all going to lead to a fatal four-way to name the ch heavyweight champion. But we're doing a loser's bracket. And in the loser's bracket, you're fighting for a chance to enter into a future tournament, a round-robin tournament, where each wrestler will get to wrestle eight matches to be named the number one contender. There you go. Sounds good. So we are going to kick it off. Uh, the wrestlers in Block A are seen below, but we can tell you real quick. Uh, let's see. They are... Do, 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 do. Mine are Kevin Owens, Austin Theory, Ricochet, and I forget my fourth guy right now. I'm drawing a blank. Sammy will tell me probably. Uh, Gunther. And Gunther. So those are mine. And Sammy can give you his four for this block. So I chose L.A. Knight, Sammy Zayn, Cody Rhodes, and Randall Keith Orton. All right. So those are our Block A participants. This is our Block A opening video. So, and it's just going to kick right off here. Uh, oh, I don't want to do that because that's real. Uh, we want to be able to hear the announcers. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> You know, I don't. I play the game, but not all that much. So, and this is our first time doing it this way. Plus, I had Sammy on the headset as a party, so we were kind of talking while we were doing this. So, and this was the first time we did this. So, bear with us if there's a little bit of uh, what you call it on the screen. But we there's will eventually... a couple technical difficulties. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but we will eventually get there. Uh, you will be able to hear the announcers. Hey, you know, I don't know. Is that a copyright issue? Should we mute this? I have no idea, yeah. honestly. I don't or, hear or it. A, well, you, you, oh, you can't hear that? No. Oh. All right. Because I've got, like, the clicking of my... I've got, like, the environment clicking through the through the guys. As I, as you can see, we're picking uh, Kevin, Kevin uh, Owens versus L.A. Knight for our very first match of the tournament. Block A opening match. Uh, you, but, yeah, I can hear all the... The sound of the button presses? Yes. Oh, that should be a copyright issue. No, 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 no. What's going to happen is when the match starts, the commentators. We're going to have Michael Cole and Corey Graves giving us commentary on the match. Do that, people not do that? I honestly don't know. Now I'm trying to think about it. I mean, I've watched ATP do this a couple times, but I never noticed if they actually had the commentary wow. on Google it real quick. Go ahead. Google it really quick. How about if I mute it until then? You have to then. appreciate the unapologetic. Because I don't want to get a copyright for Michael Cole's voice, for Corey Graves' voice, or. <laughs> what I see is that people haven't even been nicked for copyright for playing uh, the entrance themes. Okay. So, so we should be good for commentary the if they're not going to do it for the defense. Yeah, let's not ignore Kevin Owens. Okay. No regard or respect for just about anyone who steps in the ring against him. And he doesn't care. LA Knight coming in hot. Is that, is it, keep buffering on your end too? 
Yes. Okay. So I wonder is that I don't remember that happening as we were watching the match. I wonder Absolutely if that's a, an issue with StreamYard in the video. Because, yeah, this is frustrating. From Kevin and now it seems to have froze all together. All right. Well, this uh, is a very good, we, this is a very good we, streaming we, right we, now. We, Sorry, people. We, I'm not totally sure why it was doing that. He's heading to the floor, but Hopefully he can't take his time. Worked out his bug, I don't know. What a forearm. Oh, oh. Man, they do not care who or what they do. It's destroyed. okay, oh. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. But honestly, my memory is so bad, and we did this so long ago that I don't remember who actually won. I know that you know the winners and the losers because you've got the matches set up, but I don't. So, and you know, I can't remember a name from or a winner from minute to minute. So, I remember everything. <laughs> this is all like brand new for me. I remember the what, I don't remember the how. I'm not totally sure what was going on with the video, but I'm glad that it seemed to resolve itself in the match. We often talk about the yeah. match playing style of LA Knight, but his athleticism sometimes. LA Knight is putting it on Kevin Owens right here. We've already apologized for the technical difficulty. <laughs> this is our first rodeo doing this. In the last tournament we did, we did live on Twitch, so. That's true. He gets the shoulder up at two. Able to squeeze. <laughs> Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. I would think KO would be the favorite here. Devastating elbow. I mean, you would imagine, like, what is he rated? Uh, 89? I think so, yeah. And I think LA Knight's like 86 or 84 or something like that. Oh, I didn't think LA Knight was that high. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I, I don't remember. We'll see it again, I'm sure. Well, it'll be at least one more match, so. Oh, that was a nice little move there. Yeah, LA Knight's giving it to him, but it sure he has, yeah. he doesn't want anything. Can he sustain it though? It's still early. Well, working on getting the stun going. Oh, LA Knight is a dragon KO to the middle of the ring. What's he gonna do? An agile escape. Boots. Missed the kick. Ooh. KO missed the boot. And LA Knight hit him with the drop kick. Oh, Knight going up to the top rope. Is he going to pay off? Oh, he High missed. Oh. Really missed. Precarious position you. here. Oh. A face buster on the outside by KO. All right, boys. You got to keep it in the ring. Right. KO putting him back in the ring. Although, if you win by count out, you still progress through the tournament. Yes. Yep. A winner advances, whether it's by DQ, whether it's by count out, whether it's by pin, by submission. And if it's a draw, the two men will both basically advance into a triple threat against the winner of the next quarterfinal match, essentially. Oh. So I had a very cereal before we started the stream, and my cat seems to be very interested in the smell of milk around my table. Oh, KO six out. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said about the cat. So I ate a bowl of cereal before the stream started, and now my cat seems to be very interested in the smell of milk surrounding my table. Oh, uh, yeah. Come on, video. <laughs> I wonder why it's doing that. No idea. I mean, so we downloaded to PlayStation, then put the video onto a flash drive, and then uploaded the video to StreamYard. Yep. Yeah, so I'm maybe. wondering if I'm wondering if on the next one, maybe sharing the screen from my computer, because you can either share a video file, which is what I'm doing now, or I can share my screen and play it on my computer. I don't know what would be more. I have no idea which one would be better. 
Whoa. It seems like this starts to have a little bit of issue when it goes into like the slower. Oh, hold on, I'll be right back. I gotta take no care of this. To okay. You can feel the end coming. This could be big. Going up high. Go to the, the pink fruit. Watch out. Oh, and it pays off high risk and high reward. Ooh. Come on, LA Knight. You were dominating this match in the early. Ah, it doesn't feel good. Come on. We just got to have faith that the Megastar's got this. Oh, elbow. Elbows left and right. Back on top. That was cool. That wasn't even what I thought it was. That was just the Amazon guy. No. I just the dogs were barking, so I was like, oh, it must be the guy here to pick up the the rims at my son-in-law's selling. For a car? Yeah. He buys and resells rims. Grab the rope. Grab the rope. Oh. And the winner. And your first person to advance. To the semifinals of the A block is Kevin Owen. That's my guy. That's my number one draft pick. Wow, looking back on this, I can't believe I drafted Ricochet that high. I mean, I wouldn't have. Yeah, well, in hindsight, like, I wonder what I was thinking at the time. Like, that's odd for me because I like Ricochet, but I don't necessarily like him that much. Like, seems odd to me that I picked him that high, but apparently I did. All right, so we're on to the second quarter final match of Block A, which should be. Go ahead and tell them, Sammy. Who is it? It is Sammy Zayn versus Austin Theory. Ah, uh -huh. here was my turning down the the commentary and stuff in our ears so that we could hear each other better. Yeah, it, it was pretty loud. <laughs> it was very loud. We could not hear each other at all, really. So. Fortunately, it's not quite as loud on the stream as it was in our ears. So Sammy's second first round pick was Sammy Zane, and mine was Austin Theory. I figured that LA Knight would be a great way to start out the show. So yep. I drafted him first. He would love to know that in a fantasy draft, he got drafted first out of all WWE superstars, I'm sure. Even if it's just some random dude that he doesn't know. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I mean, I assume he'd say, well, of course you draft the Mega Star first because L.A. Knight is the game. This is L.A. Knight game. I mean, to be fair, like, he's, what, 90% of the action we see in the motion capture? In the, in the what? So the motion capture for this game of, like, doing the moves and stuff? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, like, 90% him, right? Yeah. For sure. Because, like, you don't get, you know, Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar and everybody else to come in and do the motion capture. You get one wrestler to do everybody else's moves for them. Right. Oh, whip Sammy into the ropes. A oh, huge knee in the midsection. Austin Theory's in early control. Big kick to the back. Austin Theory is a young and hungry talent. Do you think that will help him or hurt him in this match tonight? 
You'd think it might hurt him, but Theory's natural abilities have been more than enough to offer <coughs> any inexperience. As long as he doesn't let this one get away from him, he'll be in good shape. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Oh. Oh. Looked like he was going for a back body drop in the got counter with him in the corner. Oh, yanking on that arm. Come on, Austin, let's go. You had one half of the World Tag Team Champions, and I have one half of the World Tag Team Champions. <laughs> right? Oh. Huge backbreaker. One. Two. Two and a half. Sammy Joe has Sammy Zane. That was a oh, close two pin at the end of the match. He was going for a pick up or pop a power bomb, and Sammy Zane hit him with the drop kick. Big counter. Uncle Dave likes the match so far. Two stars begins. Yeah, I love me some David Arquette. <laughs> Fisherman, suit. oh, counter. Oh, Theory going up to talk to the crowd. Oh, that's Wasting mistake. time. Yep, wasting time. And he sends him into the corner. This is classic Sami Zayn through the post. Oh. Vintage Sami Zayn. Sammy with a Vintage Sami Zayn. Zayn. This is a chess player in the ring, and he just might have pulled a checkmate. Uh-oh. That unraveled by Zayn. The crowd is loving it. You hear the crowd chanting, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. So screen share was your other option, yes? Yeah. Those are the two options to show a video. Ooh. This one seems to be moving a lot better than in the first match. I haven't really noticed any buffering on this one. I mean, hopefully wonder... people don't mind the 240p. What do you mean? Oh, the picture quality not looking so hot. Uh, is it kind of blurry on your end? Oh, that oh, was quick. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. It looks pretty normal on my end, but. Oh, well, never mind. Me. Maybe it's my tablet. That's just the issue. I mean, maybe. I mean, maybe it does. I, I mean, I don't know. In StreamYard, it looks fairly okay, but periodically I do see the. Uh, Next to the live in StreamYard, I get a um, like a little signal thing, and sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. And right now, it says our signal is bad, so I wonder if that has anything to do with the video. But the video seems to be loading fine right now. So Sami Zayn was the winner of our second quarterfinal match of the A Block. We're moving into our third quarterfinal match of the A Block. All these we decided to do on SmackDown. We are doing Block A and Block C on SmackDown. Block B and Block D will be on Raw. And then the finals of the loser's bracket, the winner's bracket, and the Royal Rumble that we will talk about in connection with this tournament will all be held at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Yeah, so KO and Sami Zayn have moved on through the winner's block. But now we're going to have LA Knight versus Austin Theory in the loser's block. I'm not. Is that how we did it? Are we sure? Because I got Cody coming up here. Well, I mean, later on. I'm. Oh, later on. Yes, yes, yes. Right now, we're doing our third match, a third quarterfinal match of the A block, which will be Cody Rhodes versus Gunther. On paper, this should be the match of the block. Or at least the match paper, the, yeah. the best opening round match of the block on paper. Oh. 
Come on, Cody. I guess with the commentators, I don't really have to do any kind of play-by-play. -play. My instincts are to do like play-by-play -play on what I'm watching, but we've got the announcer, so we can just provide color here and there. Let's go, color. Cancer. Let's go. Yeah, RK. Color. <laughs> Teal. <laughs> Yellow. Magenta. <laughs> Magenta. That's a movie you don't see very often anymore. No. This is a strong block when you think about block A. You got Cody Rhodes, you got Walter, you got or Gunther, you got KO, you got Sami Zayn. Well, these were our first round draft picks. Too. Right. Like, but also, none of them are blocked or they're slouching. Yeah. No, no, no. Nope. Oh! I, I mean... Uh-oh, walked up the top rope. No! I mean, naturally, the D block would probably be the weakest block, but, like, I still have heavy contenders in that block. Yeah, I think my D-block was a little bit weaker than your D-block, but yes, I mean, mm. with so many good superstars, I mean, left still, well, I mean, we're only picking 16 each, or 32, there's still a lot of guys left, so. So you can have a really good draft picking 32 and still have a lot of good guys left over, too, so. Oh, yeah, there were so many guys we did not pick. Yes. Roman almost didn't get picked. Well, that was uh, back when uh, we first did the draft and we had the legend. Oh! The what? That's uh, when we first did the draft and we were drafting legends. Right. And then we decided no to the legends. And so, like, he moved way up higher in my list because I had, like, half legend. Oh, that's right. Uh-oh. Here we go. Interference from Imperium. What are you doing at ringside, Vinci? Boo. Hey, W. Vinci's not in this tournament. Get your boy out of here. <laughs> I'm booing my own boy, trying to get my boy the win. Oh! Walter with the, Gunther with the big leg drop. Cody rolls out of the way. Come on, Walter. I mean, Gunther. I can't, I forget. I don't even do it intentionally. I just forget. All right, here we go. I think the way to do it is to try and view ourselves as the general managers here. Yeah. That's a good way. Like, it's my stars versus your stars. Uh, hold on. I'll be right back. They're both on the outside now. Oh, oh, but right back in. Come on, Cody. Do something. All right. Oh, in and out, in and out. Oh, good timing on Walter's part. Taking advantage. Mm. 
works, it could change the course of the match. Come on, Cody, are you gonna take that crap? That one fails to oh. miss the mark. I guess not. I guess he's not gonna take that crap. Target is set on Gunther. He... The American Nightmare. Oh, That's it. Gunther. One, two, three. <laughs> Come on, Cody. Alright, yeah. Boys. Can't get a pinfall on the outside. Oh no. And a reverse DOT. Delivers the knee. Higher rent Nestra for Cody Rose. Another one. Into wells that didn't even know existed. Come on, Cody. Ah. Oh. All right, all right, good kick out, good kick out, keep it up. Don't give up, Cody, don't give up. You got this. Let's go, Let's go Gunther, tap out. Um, Ask him, ref. Ask him. Cody taps, Cody taps. You tapped out. Tapped out. Gunther with the win. Here is your winner. Gunther. Good try, Cody. You can still uh, get a shot in the losers bracket. So Gunther advances to face KO. No. In, yeah. No. 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 Oh, you're He's right. He's gonna face right. the winner of the next match. That's right, this is Block Damn, C. Please. I apologize. Well, no, this, this is, is still A Block. That was Block C. Well, I'm sorry, you're right. This is. I, I apologize. You're right. I know what you're saying. Yes, yes, yes. The fourth match, yes. The third match of Block A. This is the fourth match. The first and second winners will face each other. This is that he was the winner of the third match. So this is the fourth 
and final first round match of block A. Sammy Joel, tell us who it is. Uh, it's Randy Orton and Ricochet. Randall Bless Keith you. Orton versus. You Ricochet. done? No. You done? Ninety-three versus eighty-two. I done. All right. Come on, Ricochet. I remember now who wins Block A. So. Boo. Well, don't spoil it for anybody. Oh, I'm not going to. Huge I'm so trying to think of my mindset as to why I would have picked Ricochet with the fourth pick in the first round of the draft. My fourth pick out of 16 wrestlers. That's team. I like Ricochet, but not near that much. I'm not sure what I was thinking that day. I mean, I, I wasn't arguing. I figured you weren't. Something new. The question to me is, can Ricochet adapt in a Especially when it worked out this way that we got Ricochet versus Randy Orton in the first round. But later on, you drafted people like a pick or two before I was going to draft them myself. Yeah. Carefully measuring. Oh, look at the well placed elbow right on the mark. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. And my last pick was somebody who I was expecting you to draft, and you never did, so I decided to just draft him myself. <laughs> but we'll get to that. We're going to leave you guys guessing. We'll give you guys the, the block participants at the beginning of each ep block's episode. So this is block A. So right now you only know the first eight wrestlers. We will let you know of the eight to block A or block B when we do block B. Keep it a mystery. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a whole lot of mystery around this match. Uh, I think we've gotten far enough in the episode that the people who are paying attention are paying attention, right? Yes. Yep. All right. So, I will say that if you do the math and you have one loser's bracket winner from each block and then you have the three losers from the championship match moving on to the round robin there is one space left in that match in that tournament and so for the round robin tournament the final eighth competitor you will choose with a royal rumble so make sure to join us for episode five or six depending on if we do the championship match and the rumble together or separate i assume we'll do them together but who knows we will have to see they will all be at the royal rumble pay-per-view but it might be split into a couple different segments We'll just have to see. We'll try to do the whole Royal Rumble pay-per-view, crowning a champion uh, as well uh, at one time. But oh, Ricochet with the miss. Damn it. Come on, Ricochet. Uh, if you don't make it to the round robin, you still have one final chance to become a participant through the Royal Rumble. Yes. And the other contestants in the Royal Rumble that lose are going to go into our mid-card. No. And eventually... What? No. No? Oh. No. I that's what they were doing. <laughs> nope. They're going to okay, be our tag division. Oh, they're going to be our tag division. Thank you. Thank you, thank you ultimately become our Frankenstein tag team division when we do our no, all, tag team title match. This is all the uh, MFers in this who lose twice, they can go to the mid card. Okay, that's right. You can't win a match, you ain't, in a, you ain't a heavyweight. Anyone that gets eliminated from this heavyweight tournament, to, in other words, taking at least two losses, or taking two losses, goes into the mid card. 
And we will have a mid card title tournament at some point too. Let me clarify: no wins. It's not no wins. two losses. It's no wins. If you it's got zero no wins. wins, you ain't a heavyweight. To the mid card you go. Come on, video. What, what do we got going on here? Buffering again. For uh, we do have this split into two video parts. So when we go to switch to the second video, maybe I'll try to screen share that and see if that plays any different. Absolutely. Sounds like a good it's gonna, idea. Going to take another minute of preparation, but we'll have to see. Uh, that's fine. We can have a minute of downtime. I'll go into the other room for that minute. Orton up to the top rope. Oh, what's a huge flash? Is it over already? Three, One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Randy Orton Reflected. wins in convincing fashion over Ricochet. As I think we all unfortunately Here's suspected, as am I now debating why he became my fourth pick in a 16 person draft. But I was probably really high and only half paid attention. So there you go. As a result, my guy did not advance. So Ricochet is in the losers bracket. So we are officially done with the first round quarterfinal matches of block A. We are now going to advance to, I forget what we did next. Is it the loser's bracket? Uh, losers or winners. Well, I'm, we'll find well, out here in I'm a minute. losers. Like in the future, we always go to the losers first. Okay. But we might have went to winners here because it was the first time. So we will find out here in a minute what our next matchup is. But uh, right now we're two and two. We are two and two. We both have had two guys advance into the semifinals of Block A. And we both have two guys in the loser's bracket. Or, yeah, four guys, two guys. Two guys each in the loser's bracket. Oh, so we did go to the loser's bracket because this is L.A. night. I don't know why you don't tap over and go to bed now that I'm looking back at this. Tap over and go to what? Because you can select just the men. Oh, yeah, because I'm dumb. So this is our loser's bracket first round matchup. Or semi-finals of the loser's bracket, I guess. Uh, so, the winner enters a fatal four-way in order to uh, be the loser's bracket leader of the A block. And uh, the loser goes to the mid card. Oh. Uh, forgive us, please. This is the one match where I accidentally set it up wrong, and I set it oh, up yeah. to... You were playing. <laughs> I was accidentally playing as Austin Theory, and as a result, uh, whatchamacallit did no moves. And so no, 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 no. That... You were playing as L.A. Knight, and because you didn't think you were playing, oh, you didn't Austin do anything. Theory, Austin Theory tapped me out real quick as L.A. Knight, and so we realized what was going on, so we're going to do it again. So, so right, if you ever wanted to know how long a match between <laughs> ALW and Austin Theory would go, that's how long it would go. Uh, I think right now, Sammy was, I think we decided, Sammy was like, are you sure that that was right? And I was like, I think it's right. And you were like, no, it's not. And I was like, no, it's not. So we're going to do it again. Sorry, guys. Unfortunately, there was no way to delete that from the video and still have the video. So, or if there is, I don't know how to do it because I'm a moron. So, uh, but we're going to try it again here. This time, I believe we got it set up the right way. And yes, in hindsight, next time I should just have it on the men. Technical uh, difficulties and a bit of comic relief. I should know how to spell better and all those things. Maybe I shouldn't eat like four edibles before we do this next time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, you, you do your weekend how you want to do your weekend. Uh, ain't no judgment from me. <laughs> weekend? That's a Tuesday uh, morning. <laughs> 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 So, All right, from so on, we, we do pay a little bit more attention to Com Com. Okay. So, uh, in case you're having deja vu, yes, indeed, this is the same match you just watched a second ago. 
However, this time it is the computer versus the computer, as it should be, as all the other matches were, and we'll actually get a real match. So just pretend like you didn't see that. Previous. <laughs> this is just, hey, this is classic WWE booking. The first match was really bad, and now we're doing a repeat right away of the second match, or a repeat right away. I remember thinking to myself, uh oh, is it happening here again? And then I realized, no, it's not. It's not on the screen the same way it was last time. These two are having a pretty good match, though. Yeah. They make, they make for pretty good dance partners. It's making me think that this would be a pretty good match, you know, in real life. I agree. It shouldn't have anything to do with my, I mean, I guess it could have something to do with the Wi-Fi connection and the way that the video is playing the stream yard. That's what my guess would be. But you're the only one at the house right now, right? So, like, this is as good as your Wi-Fi gets, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I would think so. In, in theory, yes. I mean, in theory, I'm the only one here using it, so. I spend almost a hundred bucks a month on Wi-Fi. I don't know why. Um, uh, I don't. I don't understand why it would be buffering. It doesn't, or why this match, the first and the third, the, the first and this match are buffering so bad, and the ones in the middle didn't seem to so much. I don't. I mean. Another thing was is that when I was looking at what internet to get, they like they told me what I'd need, but then I saw that the other offer was like five times more internet for like less than twice as much. Uh, it was like five times more internet, and it's less than half. Like it's it's not double. Like it's all it it was close to being double, but it wasn't double. But it's five times more internet speed. I was like, ah, I'll I'll go ahead and get that just to make sure I never have <coughs> difficulties. Right. Sure. So I got that one gig. Yeah. And I do have difficulties, but only when it's storming outside. Yeah, I don't. My son-in-law and daughter set it all up, so I don't know. I mean, originally they had, I think it was Comcast Internet, and then they decided to go to Verizon because it was cheaper. So, you know, you probably get what you pay for, I assume, so. Oh, uh, really? Because, like, my family was trying to tell me I should switch to Verizon because it's so much cheaper. Yeah. Yep, but I definitely do have issues. I mean... Usually, once a work day, my computer internet goes down for a few minutes, or it seems to happen when we're doing streams, I get a lot of buffering, or all that kind of stuff, so. But there's also usually, you know, at least one other person here. Well, not necessarily during the work day, but there could be. Um, so, and at night, there's, you know, four or five people here all using the internet, so. And he tosses it back in now. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing. Oh, this match has been really good. Mm-hmm. Let's go, Austin Theory. Although, uh, the star people don't like it. Uncle Dave doesn't like it. Only a star and a quarter so far. Star and a half. I mean, on paper, it didn't seem like it'd be that hot of a match, but it's definitely better watching it in person. Right. I, I think Dave just has it out for your boy. Well, there's that. He's an anti-Austin theory. 
All right. Come on, video. You watch heels? I do. I have really enjoyed this season. I think the last episode that aired was probably the best episode ever. And which one? Which one is the last one you saw, or that the newest one that just? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I yeah, I enjoy the show a lot. I mean, I I like it a lot. I wish there was maybe a little more actual wrestling, but I do like it a lot. I do like it a lot. Well. I mean, I think a lot of viewers are more about drama than actually watching wrestling. Sure, absolutely, 100%. And they're trying to appeal to, you know, all the people. They want people that aren't wrestling fans to watch the show, too, so. Yeah. Oh! Did he miss it, or did it It actually hit? It actually hit. Yeah, it hit. LA Knight looks like he's in trouble, Theory. He's getting ready for the finisher. There it is. Ooh. Hey, town down. Come Kick on, out. Down. Kick out. Kick Jeez. out. <laughs> Slowest count in the history. Come on, video. Yeah, it's a, it's a triple H three count right now. Yeah. Well, Austin Theory won. So there you go. We don't actually see the three count, but Austin Theory won. And moves Here's on to be the first Austin. person in the fatal four way of the loser's bracket. And I believe that's the last one of this point. So you're going to switch the screen share for the second part? I'm not sure. I'm trying to. Is that correct? I'm not sure. It looks like there might be one more video. Let's see what happens here. Sorry, this first uh, video is going to be a little fly by the seat of our pants as we get more acclimated. I don't remember if there was an, if we did another match on this video or not. Uh, let's see here what happens. It does look like we got in one more match. Or at least we're setting it up. Oh, is this where you said? This might be where you said, let's not, or either that or we're buffering. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. It was just buffering. I think we're going to do our second loser's bracket semifinal match of block A. Cody Rhodes versus Ricochet. The winner advances on to the Fatal Four Way uh, with a chance. Uh, fatal Four Way, the loser bracket. And the loser moves on to the mid tier. So LA Knight has already been demoted to mid tier. The loser of this will go to the mid card. There's a constant confidence check going on in Ricochet's head. I don't know if I can agree with that, Corey. And he'll be met by the surreal sight of the American nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Cody left here a boy and came back. We apparently had one more video on this. One more match on this video. I could have sworn that we started up the second video with these two. Yep, you know what? The second video does start. This must have started. It must have, we, it must have ended in the middle of the match. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Because the second video starts in the middle of the match. Well, that's not the... confusing. First thing we're doing <laughs> both videos back to back. Yep. And that's when we're in the two videos. Correct. I think what happened is here in a minute we decided that we were going to run out of time. So I think we decided to pause it, stop the video. Oh, yeah, so for the first video, we didn't know we had a one-hour time limit. Right, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. I think it hit an hour and just stopped. And so then I paused the match, and then we started a second recording, and we unpaused the match. So. I got to say, that so far it seems like this match is running the best for how we're doing it. 
this match right here, Cody and Ricochet. Yeah, it looks the most clear of all the matches so far. Does it on your end? Yeah. I mean, on my end, all the graphics have looked the same. It's just you know, between the buffering and stuff, and this one hasn't buffered as much. But there were a couple matches that didn't really buffer. That was just dirty, just picking him up and throwing him to the outside like that. Right. Oh, and then legs to the ring apron. Oh, there it is. The dusty elbow. Cody is not happy. No. He is not. He's taking out all of his frustrations of Gunther out on Ricochet. That's right. He does not want to join LA Knight in the mid-tier. In the mid-card. Vortex. He's like, I came to be the world champion. I came to win the belt that my daddy never won. I will not be relegated to the mid card again. <laughs> Time to tell. Oh, Ricochet with the huge knee. Ripcord knee there. Oh, Cannonball in the corner. Cody's in trouble. Let's go, Ricochet. Come on, Cody. Come on, Cody. Uh, did you get him? Yo! Ah, oh, too busy cheering the crowd. That's what you get for pretending to be a baby face. Man, this is great on Rick and Shay's end. Because Cody don't look that light. No. Ricochet to the top rope. Get your knees up. No, oh, roll him out of the way. That's pretty good, too. Cody rolls out of the way. Let's go, Ricochet. So you couldn't capitalize for whatever reason. I got reason. one guy in the fatal four-way of the loser's bracket so far in Austin Theory every second. I've already sent one of your guys to the mid-card. I'm about to send another to the mid-card. This is Cody freaking Rhodes. Let's go. Wrestling royalty. Looking more Kick light. out, Cody. Kick out, Cody. Kick out, Cody. <laughs> Uh, what was his name? Stardust? Look at more. No, not Stardust. Look at Gold Dust and what was Cody's name? Stardust. It was Stardust. What? It was Stardust. <laughs> he, he was also Dastion, too. Uh, and the Mustachioed Menace. Yeah! Maybe I just can't remember. Ricochet sent Cody Rhodes to the mid card. Here is your winner. Upset is the century. Okay, so now I totally don't understand what happened because I swear our next video starts with Ricochet. That's the kind of win that can catapult you to bigger and better. Now I don't have any idea what we did. We apologize for our technical difficulties. Yes, this was the very first time that we actually recorded the videos on PlayStation and did it this way. I had never done it this way before, so. I believe that this should be the end of that first video. Although it looks like there's still time on there. It looks like there's, I don't know when we decided to end it though. What do we do here? It looks like maybe we're loading up a third match. See, I don't remember what what we decided to do here. I guess we'll just, well, we're all going to find out together. Both, you added both the videos. Did they go back to back? I don't think so. No, definitely not. Oh, so okay. we're, we're getting KO and something again, it looks like. It looks like we decided we had time for one more match. I don't understand how the other video though starts with Ricochet and Cody Rhodes. I'm not totally sure. Maybe we'll have to fast forward the other video. I'm not sure. This is going to end in an hour, but I don't know. Kevin Owens is in a fit of rage in his 
point of attack to Sami Zayn. Should we stop this now and switch videos and see if we can find Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn in the beginning? Uh, let's see. Sure. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Sorry, y'all. I know that this is terrible uh, podcasting, but um, let's see. Here. It's better to do it now than have you guys wait through an extra ten minutes of the next video. You know. Right. So the question becomes: Where is? <sighs> this one it no fuck me Now I don't know. I thought these were labeled by the day they came on here, and now I don't know. Ooh, this is terrible. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, so that one's definitely not it. You can pause the recording until you fin- figure it out. Okay, so that's it. So now... Okay, so now let's see if I can actually share the screen. Share screen. All right, so why aren't you actually playing? All right, well, let's see if this gets any better. It doesn't look like it is. It looks like this is going to be worse, actually. Yep, that's going to be worse. Okay, so that's going to be worse. It appears so... <sighs> Sorry, y'all. I apologize. This is terrible podcasting. We'll get there, I swear. Okay. There it is. But let's see if we can just advance both ways. All right, I think we are ready for, I think we're all ready at the second spot here, which will be Sami Zayn versus KO, I believe. So I'll go ahead and click the video, get it started. Again, hopefully uh, this one works this time. And I apologize for all that stuff in between there. The last five minutes or so wasn't a very good video, but this is a learning process, so... We are back with the, this is the <clears throat> winners, it's the first semifinal of the block A of the winners bracket. We, we could have paused the video. Yeah, the recording. it's all right. I didn't, I, chances are good that it would have messed it up anyhow. I know it's got a little pause button, but like, I don't know. 
Oh, well. Y'all can just fast forward to the video for those couple seconds. The volume is very loud again. <laughs> I can at least turn it down on the video. Yeah, I'll save this for the pay-per-view tonight. I promise our Block B video will be a little bit better. Should be more succinct. Uh, I think the recordings worked out better. We shouldn't have those issues. And hopefully we won't have the buffering issues. But that'll be another day. You'll get uh, you'll get block B, you'll get block A this Monday, and you'll get block B the following Monday. So uh, pay attention every Monday for your Enter the Square Circle episode. We'll do block A, block B, block C, and block D as four episodes, and then we'll do the Royal Rumble pay per view. Two episodes for the finals. Huh? Either one or two episodes for the finals, depending on how. Right, yeah. Then we'll do the Royal Rumble pay-per-view, which is basically our finals of the tournament. We decided to do it the Royal Rumble pay-per-view uh, in either one or two episodes. Sammy must become immune to the crowd and focus on Kevin Owens. That's Sammy's focus. While Owens' focus will be to attack Sammy based on his injury history and do major damage, Sammy's going to have to keep his guard up. You can't have Graham crack. Huge neck break by KO. Dangerous position with your feet tied up like that. Right in the bread basket. Oh, man, a little extra luck. So I think we have four matches left, if I'm not mistaken. The two, this match, which is one of the two quarterfinal matches from the block, or semifinal matches of the block. And then five. the two moves. Five were counted in this one. Five counting the tournament. Okay. Okay. And then the two losers of this will wrestle the, in the four way with the two winners of the losers bracket matches. And then we'll have the, the winner of the four way face, or then we'll have the finals of the bracket. And the loser of that final match will face the winner of the four way <laughs> from the losers bracket. That probably doesn't make any sense to anybody but y'all. So kind of how it works out, I guess. I mean, A block's going to be the most confusing after they watch A block. It's going to make much more sense going forward because you do it in the same format. Right. In each game. Correct. Going forward, I think we're going to do it a little bit more straightforward. Other than the round robin, I think the women's tournament will just be a single elimination. Probably. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, I don't know, we'll decide about the tag team in the mid card. What we want to do about those. But. And doing a singles elimination, we'll be able to get it all done in one episode. Yes. Yeah, probably so. I would think so. But we decided to go big for this, and by going big for this, it actually leads into so many more tournaments in the future. It definitely does. It sets up all sorts of stuff. So... I mean, that's storytelling right there. You tell the story, but that turns into three more stories. Absolutely. And you get people coming back to fight people again. I mean, potentially one of these number one contender, and they could have wrestled in this tournament. They could have wrestled the champion in this tournament already. I mean, it's possible, but unlikely, considering everybody was broken into different blocks. Right. Well, no. But you never know. Like, it is a fatal four-way for the final and the three losers. So, like, if you add in that, then it is a 50% chance that you did wrestle the champion at one point. Yes. Which leads for good storytelling. Because this guy already beat me once, I want my revenge. And Cody, Cody spiraling right now because Cody came back to win the title and now he's in the mid card. He took two losses in a row in this tournament and is now in the mid card. 
one to ricochet. So there's a storyline in and of itself. Cody's hot and pissed. L.A. Knight did not expect to be sitting and catering right now as a mid-card guy. You're both my boys, too. Yep. Sammy Joe's going to have to cut a couple promos as L.A. Knight and Cody Rhodes here and tell the world how, how unhappy they are about what's going on. We had stuck in catering. Had to do your, put on your Miz hat and do your uh, L.A. Knight impression. <laughs> I think that's, I, I think that's one of Miz's best impressions of the game. It was mm -hmm. so on point. It was so good. And he looked so much like him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was much better than the Rock one. Yes, much better. But the John Cena one that he did, that was good. Yeah, the Cena one was good. I think this one was a little bit better, but yeah. Miz is great. I'm a huge Miz fan. All right, let's go, KO. Come on. Let's go ahead and finish this up. Send Sammy to the loser's bracket fatal four-way. Let's go. But this did turn out quite nicely because here in the semifinals for this, it's my guy versus your guy and my guy versus your guy. It is. It did work out well this time. Yeah. All the other brackets didn't quite work out the same. But... I don't know about that. I think that for some of them they did. Uh, I, yeah, well, I mean, well, we'll see when we get there because I don't really remember exactly, but this one True. definitely <laughs> broke down that way really well. Oh, vintage Sammy Zayn through the ropes. The downside was you knocking me out through, um, the, through the four way for the loser's bracket. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, full disclosure, guys, Block B was a bit of a shit show. The one you guys are going to see will actually be the fourth recording, fourth take <laughs> of Block B. Uh, the first one we did, and somehow. I, it didn't record, or I deleted it, or somehow it disappeared. I don't know what happened, but somehow it wasn't there, and then we tried to record I don't, it again. And I don't yeah, I don't know if we had to tell him that, but oh. uh, yeah, we did the happened. B block four times because it wouldn't record. Yes. Which I don't have that on my end, so I don't know. <laughs> it could have been that ALW just kept on doing it, so he'd get a better result. Oh, there we go. Oh, sure. You don't want me to tell people the truth. You just want to spin your conspiracy theories. I see how it is. So he tells me to stop telling the truth so that he can over there and spin his conspiracy theory. I get it. I, get it. I mean, Sami Zayn's in the match right now. How can I not spin conspiracy theories? <laughs> but for whatever reason, we had a bunch of technical difficulties in the first three takes. So when you see Block B in Episode 2, it will be... Just remember, that's the fourth take of Block B. So... The crowd is loving this. We're a four stars. So these ones could be down packed because, like, we did it four times. We had plenty of experience. <laughs> going right? But when you're actually watching, it'll probably be the most fluid video because we've done it four times already before. Three times already before. Four stars working on four and a half. Oh, let's go, KO. Here we go. Now I don't know what the comments are going to say, but I'm pretty sure this is match week. This is match the block. The no TV. I'm sorry, say that again. Instead of MOTN, match of the night, it's MOTB, match of the block. Oh, yeah, yeah. MOTB. Yeah, I think so. Oh, 
Come on, Sammy, from the top rope, high risk. Oh, let's go, KO. Oh, out of the way. Let's go, KO. Oh, big DDT. Springboard off the second rope and the DDT. Oh, the stomp. Four and a half stars. Everybody's loving it. Oh, Sammy back up. No sold the sent on. A Luva kick. Oh, no. One. Rope break. Rope break. No count. Rope break. Are they going to reach five stars? I believe this one does get five stars. I think this is the only five star match in Block A, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is the only singles five star match. I could be wrong, but. Yeah, you might be right. I think you might be right. I think the only other five star match or matches were the Fatal Four Ways. Mm hmm. Which I think just goes to prove how much chemistry these two men have. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. oh One, two, three. Mm. It was Zane. just below a five-star match. Just below. Did you just see that? Just below. Yep. Sami Zayn beats Kevin Owens in the semi, our first semi-final match of Block A. So he advances to the final match of Block A. And he will face and that gives you three participants for the loser's bracket four-way. That's correct. I do. I've got Austin Theory, uh, Ricochet, and now Kevin Owens. Three of the four men that will participate in the loser's bracket fatal four-way. And Sami Zayn will go on to face the winner of Gunther versus... Uh, Randall Keith. Randall Keith Orton, which is our other Block A semifinal match, which should be coming up next in theory, which on paper should be a really good match as well. I mean, I'd, I'd watch it at SummerSlam. Oh, yeah. Apparently, either it's bogged down or I was moving really slow. I think it's probably frozen at the moment. I don't know why I would have paused on the screen for that long, unless we were talking. But we could have been talking about something, too. Oh, I might have had to remind you who the participants were. Well, there is that, too. You did have to do a lot of that. So. Fortunately, you don't have to deal with any of that tonight. All you got to do is watch <laughs> the matches. All you got to do is watch the matches. I know I've left a couple times. When I leave one more time, I'm going to get some water. I'll be right back in about two minutes. right in the head. Oh, using the rope to their advantage. Very effective. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. These two men fighting for their shot at the World Heavyweight Championship. Question is, which man wants it more? At the moment, it seems like it's random. And just on top, throwing them punches. Oh, 
absorbing that blow. Down. Looked so crisp there. We know Randy likes to end matches out of nowhere, but you have to think it's not as simple as that. Absolutely not. It takes a lot of work to get to he thinks he the winner of this will go on to face Sami Zayn in the finals for the A block. Come on, Gunter. Let's go, Gunter. Let's go. Crazy kitty. Oh, nope. tap out. Oh, fucking Lincoln. rope break. I don't think Randy would have tapped out that early. He's not even injured. He's not even injured. He can be like Jericho. Ask him! Ask him, ref! Indeed, great counter. Ooh. Indeed. Throwing them close. Oh, dodge the clothesline. Ah. Uh, Too fast. Holy smokes. Jeez. Randy Louise. just pulled it more. But yeah, fastest match of uh, the night. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But that was a fucking semifinal match on the winner's side. And now Randy will face Sami Zayn. Actually, I think we get that four way first. Well, yeah, who will face the loser of Sammy and Randy to be the <laughs> loser's bracket winner of A Block. <laughs> and by winning the loser's bracket, you enter into the round robin. Yes. So our next match will be our loser's bracket fatal four-way, consisting of all four of my guys, unfortunately. Uh, it will be Austin Theory versus Ricochet versus Kevin Owens versus Walt Gunther. The winner will then face the loser of the A Block final match. I mean, it could have very easily have been KO instead of Sammy, I feel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. No doubt. But yeah, Randy made pretty quick work of Gunther. Which is a surprise. I was surprised about that. This this is kind of fun seeing how it takes you to get to finding people. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, there's a lot of guys. Brock Lesnar didn't even make it in this tournament. Oh, we didn't have to tell people that. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're going to know by the time it's done. I guess. Well, I guess well yeah, done. but maybe they would have forgot Brock Lesnar was a thing by then. I guess that's true. I suppose that's true. Honestly, we could probably make an entire tournament out of the people who we didn't draft at all. Yeah, yeah. Probably could. There was definitely enough guys left. But also, a few of those guys, like, I don't care to watch, so. Well, there's that, too. I, right. I mean, there's definitely a few that are certainly worth watching. KO and Gunther versus Ricochet. Well, not versus, but. Fatal 4-Way, but just those two in a Fatal 4-Way match. Block A, it seems like. The fact that um, two of these, the fact that three of these guys are about to be eliminated from this tournament and put into the tag division and put into the tag division is insane. Oh, 
But you know, takes a while. Now that I think about it, we probably could do a draft in a battle royal to of the people who we didn't use yet for the mid card championship. Yeah. But that'll be distant future because we got yep. three tournaments planned before then. Yes, we do. We got to give the women their due next. So. Uh, we'll do the mid card before we do the tag. Yes. Yep. We'll do women, then we'll do mid card, then we'll do tag. At some point, we got to do the round robin too. I mean, I suppose we could do that before the tag. Women, mid card, round robin, then tag. We could do that. Oh, ricochet with the pele kick. That could work. That could definitely work. Oh! So the winner of this match will face the loser of the final of the A block and the winner of that match will advance the round robin out of the A block. Oh, ricochet. I mean, yeah, we don't really make it easy for him, do we? No. I mean, hell, lose two matches and you're immediately in the mid card. Right? Lose two matches and win one, you're immediately in the tag division. Yep. And so, yeah, in theory, these guys will have all lost two. Well, these guys have won one. They're one and one right now, these guys. Mm -hmm. So the other guys that have been eliminated were 0 oh and 2. These guys are one and one, and three of these guys will be one and two when this is over with. So, yeah, get your ass to the mid card, son. Tag division. Oh, tag division. Either way. Luther and KO are going at it outside. I mean, even if you're two and two, that's tag division two. Yep. It sure is. You're right. You got to be three and one to be in the round robin at least. That's correct. We're tough bookers. You got to show us something. You got three, four two, three, four opportunities to show something, and you can't show nothing. Guess what? We have Frankenstein tag team. We're in the mid card. Well, we could be nice, and we could choose to put you together with someone who you're known to tag team with. That is they're true. all not, cool. not everyone will be Frankenstein. That is correct. Like, I'm purposefully going to try and make teams that aren't Frankenstein teams. Okay. At least until the point that those teams no longer exist to draft, in right. which case I'm just going to choose two dudes who I like the best and be like, all right, you guys are together. I think you'd work well together. Dream tag team. Yeah. 
Got Ricochet out. Ricochet's in trouble. Oh, Gunther put a stop to that. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Gordon in the ring alone. Oh, no, that was Austin Theory in the ring alone. Gordon's not even in this match. <laughs> Fortunately, there's no count out there in the forward. There is not. Man, Ricochet is taking a lap around the whole ring. I was saying, ran all the way around the whole ring. Oh, and then came up and gave Walter a, or Gunther a, what, Uranagi on the guardrail? Unsustainable for him. Into the barricade. Theory resorting to some mind games now. He's staring his opponent Being that all four of these guys are my guys, I guess we don't really have a best of interest, but the winner of this has to face the winner, the loser of Sammy Zayn and not Sammy Zayn, yeah, right? Sammy Zayn and yeah. uh, Ram Yorton, so. God, I don't know. Uh, KO and Orton, uh, KO and Zayn had such a really good match the first time. Part of me kind of wants to see it a second time, but. Oh, yeah. Same here. Gunther if I could have Sammy anybody Zane win this match, it would be KO. Even though KO is probably the most likely to win. You know I mean? I don't know. Gunther and Sammy could be really good, too. I, I don't know. Grinton got beat pretty quick by Randy. I don't know if he Grinton did. That seemed pretty un Sammy. That seemed pretty <laughs> unlikely. I was very surprised at that, honestly. I don't think it would go down quite like that in real life, but. Oh! Pack and pile driver on the outside. Boston three to Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is laid out, not moving at all. Taking it outside the ring now. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? We have seen such a physical match from these combatants, and the wear and tear is starting to show. Now's the time where the smartest competitor needs to take advantage of the situation. He needs to figure out the quickest way to end this. All four men are inside. Oh, there's garbage can. Guys spent a lot of time at ringside. Austin Theory up. KO. And Austin Theory is down. Yeah, Austin Theory is down. Anything. <laughs> and he tosses it back in now. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning. Oh, German on the outside. Rick is ready. Kevin Owens. I was, you know, I was, kind of I was uh, listening to this comedian the other day. 
Yeah. She was telling a story of how when she was growing up, her parents had fucking injuries. Say that again. I, I was listening to this comedian the other day. Right. She told a story of how when she was growing up, her parents, they had separate bedrooms. Uh-huh. And so when, uh, one day she went over to her friend's house and her friend was like, yeah, and this is my parents' bedroom. Right. And so in her head, you know, parents having separate bedrooms was the norm. So she was like, oh, man, they're so poor. Their parents have, parents to, share have to share a bedroom. bedroom. <laughs> and so when she went and talked to her dad about it, he was like, uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's hilarious. Who's going to win this match? You guys are just wearing each other out. <clears throat> and he throws the opposition back into the ring. Holy meet the barricade. the hell are you doing, Byron? Gunther back into the ring. Kick. Spunner. One. Two. Ricksy with the mm. save. Letting his opponent know respect is earned, and he's still a dollar short. He's at four stars and working on four and a half. Oh. Yeah. I, we probably should let Gunther be ten. I mean, oh. at this point, it's kind of bad. I mean, especially like, think of Cody. Like, Cody lost to him, and then he just gets bodied by Randy. If he gets pinned in this Fatal Four Way match, it's not looking good for Gunther, and it's definitely not looking good for Cody, who lost to Gunther. Right? Gunther is currently dominating the mid card bracket. Not our mid card bracket, but WWE's mid card. Holding that Intercontinental Champion, except for almost what? Two years now? Or a year? Well, this match of four and a half stars, working on five. Gunther's got him down. He's lost him. He's going to tap. Let's go. This one's over. Tap up. And he got in there. Oh, KO breaks it up. You and me both. Gunther almost had it there. Yeah. Because it didn't look like he was about to break out of that submission. No, if it wasn't for KO. Uh-oh. Packers pile driver one. Two. Oh, Gunther breaks it up. It's, it's anybody's game. These uh, multi-man matches are so hard to win because everyone comes in and breaks up the bids. But that makes it exciting because it's oh, yeah. whoever gets the lucky shot. All right, KO's down. 
Oh, Austin Theory ain't down there. Ricochet, Ricochet. One, two. Oh, oh he kicked out. out. It was huge. Oh, Ricochet, Ricochet didn't break it up. Oh. That could have very oh. well have gone to Austin Theory right that there. That could have been the end of it, but Austin Theory rolled out of the ring before Ricochet could go for the pin. KO with the stutter. One. Oh, Austin Theory. This is a shock. That could have been over there. Ricochet could have been pinned there. And back in the ring we go. One. Two. Oh, KO kicks out. Time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Oh, this is a power bomb from Walter. We are at five stars. This match has hit five stars officially. Good timing with that reversal. Elbow smack. Check out this. Oh, one, two, oh, Terry kicks the drop kick to break it out. Ricochet with the, one of the triple northern lights. One. Two in a row. Kevin Owens is back in the ring. Match has been insane. Underdog. Wow. 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 So Ricochet will go on to face the loser of Sami Zayn versus Randall Keith Orton, which will be our next match, which will be for the finals of Block A. In order to get into the round robin. That's right. The, so, the winner of Randy and Sammy is the winner of Block A and goes into the Fatal 4-Way for the title. The loser goes into the Round Robin, and Ricochet goes into the Royal Rumble. Or whoever, I guess whoever loses. I guess if Ricochet, whoever Ricochet faces. Yeah, Ricochet has a 50% chance to be in the round robin. Right. But if he loses, but then he goes to the Rumble. Yeah. Right? The winner goes to the round robin, the loser goes to the Rumble. We've seen two superstars as All right. So this is for the person to advance the fourth to the fatal four-way for the championship at the Royal Rumble paper. Uh, so here's how it is. Everyone set for the... Uh, Rumble is the tag division if they lose the Rumble. Right. Like, the Rumble's your shot to be in the heavyweight picture and not in the tag division. Right. So if you don't win the Rumble, all other 19 contenders are going to the tag division with some other guys to be picked again for tag teams. Uh, they're going to be in the tag division with the losers from the mid tag division. With the loser from the mid-card feed. There you go. Oh, from the mid-card tournament. Yeah. Right. There you go. 
So I believe it's 30 men with one team getting a bye. Is that what we did? I think so. Yeah. I think that's what we decided on. Or I think there were going to be... Because we had 30 men, it's like, do we lower the bracket or do we add an extra team? And it's like, well, we can just give one team a seated bye where they yeah. can make it through the first round without having to compete. Yep, absolutely. And just the easiest way to do it. Well, let's just say I don't really have a vested interest because at this point I cannot have a guy come out of the beat block. So, these are both your guys, so I'm here for a good match, but I don't really care who wins. I mean, you can still get a man in the round robin. I could. Ricochet could still end up in the round robin. That is correct. But, yeah, as for the heavyweight title question... Yeah, I'm about to be yeah, down really one guy. You're about to have the first guy in the Fatal 4-Way. The first contestant. First competitor for the championship. To be the square circle heavyweight crew. But another thing is, is that doing too well in this tournament will also hurt in the following up tournament. Uh, explain that to the viewers. So, the losers go to the mid card. So, if you, if you win a bunch here, you have less guys in the mid card in order to fight that tournament. So, we're going to have a four-way for the championship. Only one guy will win and be the champion. The other three go to the mid-card? No, 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 no. They go uh -oh. to the round robin. Okay. I'm talking about the guys who lost twice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Like, right now, I got two guys in the mid-card title team, and you have zero. Correct. That is correct. Two good guys, too. L.A. Knight and Cody Rhodes. Mm-hmm. Let's go. One, two. Oh. I guess I don't really care who wins, but I think I'd prefer Sammy to win. I like Sammy to no. better than Keith. Everything changes when we get to the tag tournament. Oh. Because we're going to be redrafted. It's going to be the same guys, but like we can choose each other's guys for the tag team. Right. He needs to get himself some room to regroup fast. Sammy Zane needs to dig down deep as he's done so But until we get to that point, we're stuck with our people. Our people are our people. That's right. All right, so being that these are, oh, RKO, is it over? Yeah. That's got to be it. One, two. Oh, oh kick it out. out. Who do you want representing Sammy Joe in the Fatal 4 I, Randy or I, Sammy? I mean, I'm fine either way. These are two of my favorite dudes. Like, you got to understand, I've been a Randy Orton fan for, like, two decades now. And as for Sami Zayn, like, he's my favorite wrestler right now today. Yeah. I mean, the only reason I drafted LA Knight first is because I thought that would be a better opening match. Right. I, what I wasn't expecting, though, was KO, but then I was like, oh, it's even better if I don't draft Sami first, because then we don't have that as a first-round match. Right. Uh-oh. We're getting interference. Oh, where is he? Oh, oh yeah, he was standing in Russo here, wasn't he? Yeah. Tremendous German suplex. Gotta be it. Somehow still has the energy for 
Usos coming down to help him. Nobody actually showed up. Orton to the outside, Zayn celebrating. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. This would, be, this would be a nice feather to Sami Zayn's cap if he can get the win here. B. Orton in advance on to be the winner of the B block. One, two, three. Oh, oh no. Orton. Orton and the pedigree. Orton with his Here's pedigree, your not the pedigree the that Booster moved, but Orton Ray. being a third generation wrestler. Orton and his yeah. legacy this beat Sami Zayn. Really Randy Orton is your first competitor like to make it to the fatal four way for the championship. He is the Definitely winner. Definitely a man the of caliber. A what, 13, 14 time world champion? Yes, for sure. Like, he is your you, winner of the A block, right there, it, Randall. If you need Orton. someone to represent the championship, like you, you don't have to look much further than Randy Orton. And that was a four-star match. So now we have our main event of Block A, Episode One of Enter the Square Circle. Uh, this will be Sami Zayn versus Ricochet. The winner goes into the Royal Rumble, or the winner goes into the Round Robin. The loser goes to the Royal Rumble. Slash, slash tag division. Slash tag division. It almost feels like we should have recorded these in such a way that the finals of the block was the main event match. But because right I now mean, you've got the right now you've got the king of the you got the king of the you got the biggest loser of the winners bracket and the king of the losers bracket in the main event. But, it certainly makes but here's the thing is that we have to watch that match to know who the loser is. That's true. Yeah. That is true. Otherwise, yeah, I mean, you can't have that match without, you have to have that match before this match. So. There's no way to do one without the other. All right, so Ricochet is my guy, Sami Zayn is your guy. I need one guy to go to the round robin here. Let's go. I need to find my guy to go be the first round Robin to be tested with this. You know what they say about ends and means. How do you even the playing field when you go against an athlete with Ricochet's abilities? Well, the smart strategy is to keep Ricochet on the ground, prevent him from picking up speed, which essentially will make the one and only just a regular guy. And he's set up for something in the corner. And will turn oh. it over there. And Zane looked rocked. If he's got a Sammy Zayn. He's made him fighting Sammy. for an opportunity at an opportunity to be the world heavyweight champion. Sammy Zayn has had three matches tonight. And maybe uh, matches so tonight Rick against Kevin Owens. And his uh, match against Randy Orton wasn't bad either. No. Both these guys. Have had three matches so far. Strenuous effort here. An extreme. Long nights for both guys. And I'd like to point out that the man who beat Ricochet before is Randy, who won the A block. That's true. So, so the far, man who beat only lost one two, match. Yeah, the, the man who beat both of these men was Randy. And so that's why this is the way it is, is because you're finding out who is right. the best of the losers. Right. Oh. Uh, now we're going to buffer again? We were doing so good there for a minute. We had like three matches with no buffering, and now... I feel like this video has been a little bit better with the buffering than the first one. So, to anyone who doesn't understand how a round robin works, you have eight guys who each wrestle eight matches. So, in total, you get like 28 matches. 
eight plus seven plus six. No, no, it's it's seven plus six plus five plus four plus three plus two plus four. No. <laughs> Come on, Ricochet. Sammy sends Ricochet outside. We're about to get vintage Sammy Zayn. No shortcuts from Sammy there, Saxton. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, let's just see where Sammy keeps his focus on in the long run. And now Zayn has all gears in motion. And Ricochet unable to tap into his abilities, looking just like a. Oh. You were checking the time. Okay. I, I sure hope so because I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> Sorry for the pause in the middle of the video. Uh, totally oh, um, it, it could have been your controller was dying and you had to switch controllers. Oh, you're right. I think that might have been what it was. And for a second pause, hopefully it won't last too much longer. <laughs> oh, Sammy misses the second one. Surprisingly, we didn't have many of those in the first video at all. Uh, no we way. have more of them later on because we become more observant on keeping time. Right, yes. So we do have more as we keep going, yes. Yeah, we were pretty fearful of going over time. Yes. Yeah, I was unaware because, like I said, this was the first time I'd ever recorded in the PlayStation, so I didn't know it only had an hour passing. I don't know, oh, I think that might be it right there. One. Rope break. Rope break. <sighs> Whew. Come on, Ricky. Let's go, Ricochet. Man, he's got some Flex Armstrong legs. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no, Saul, with the kip up. Here we go. Here we go. Oh no, Sammy! Let's go, Ricochet! Sammy, listen to me. I need you to blue thunder bomb his ass. You understand me? Blue thunder bomb his ass. Here we go, 450. Oh, he hit it! Sammy, One, no! Two. Oh my ah. God, God, he's kidding me! He kicked out of the fucking 450 or the 650 or the 627, 20, whatever the fuck it is. I get the 450, but. Pick him up and oh. Blue Thunderbone, who's freaking out. Yeah. Wearing him out with those right hands. See him going up to the top rope. Oh, Senton! Sammy setting him up for something. Oh! Dragging him away from the rope so he doesn't stretch Armstrong this time. Look, you even see Ricochet move his arm trying to see. Can I grab the rope? No. Oh, Damn, Damn it. No blue finger button, but I'll take the Halusa ah, kick. Summon a bitch. So your guy advances from the fucking A block. You got Randy Orton coming out of the A block as the winner. And now your guy yeah, is going to the guys. round. You got the first guy in the round, Robin, and Sami Zayn. And I got two guys in the mid card, too. Damn it. Yeah, Cody and LA Knight, too. <laughs> I think your position's pretty strong at the moment, sir. All right. So that is the end of block A. And the end of episode one, uh, block A of Enter the Square Circle. We will you'll be watching this on Monday the fourth. Uh, probably I would think I'll set it up to drop probably in the morning, like around nine a.m. my time, eleven a.m. Sammy's time, noon Eastern, um, and then uh, we will be back the following Monday the eleventh for. Block B. Anything you want to say before we sign off? 
peace, love, and rock and roll, dudes. <laughs> Keep gaming. All right. Later.